1945, France at war. In September 1939, Germany invaded Poland. Two days later, France and Great Britain declared war in Germany. World War II had begun. The Sea Musketeers were pulled apart. Calais was called away to another part of the country. Didi joined a unit of mule-diving soldiers in the mountains. Jacques naval cruiser in Toulon often performed drills, but it never left the area. German submarines were patrolling the Mediterranean, laying explosive mines all along the coast. When a British torpedo boat got its propellers tangled in some steel cable, Jacques and five of his men dived beneath the surface. They sawed away at the cables while holding their breath. It took hours and it was exhausting, but they freed the propellers. This further convinced Jacques how necessary it was to find a way for people to breathe and move freely under the water. Germany invaded Paris in June of 1940. Days later, Germany's ally Italy declared war on France and started bombing Toulon. The French government surrendered. Germany now ruled France. Jacques joined the French resistance. It was an underground movement to resist the German occupation. He planted explosives beneath the French fleet. If the Germans tried to use these ships, the French could sink them first. On land, Jacques put his photography hobby to good use. He wore a stolen uniform, pretended to be an Italian officer, and spent four hours in an Italian military office taking pictures of top-secret maps and documents for the resistance. That December, the Cousteau's second son was born. Jacques and Simone named him after their good friend Philippe Talese. Simone took Philippe and Jean-Michael to live in the village in the mountains, far from the action of Toulon. Jacques visited when he could, but these were trying times for the Cousteaux and all of France.